Hi, today I'm going to do a video on how to make a set of three floating corner shelves. Um, I first made a set of these about four or five years ago um, and at the time we wanted something that would match the uh, bedside cabinets we just bought. So I looked on the uh, locally, I looked on the internet but there was nothing available that, that to fit the bill. So I looked on the internet, on YouTube, to see if anybody had done a, a video or a tutorial on how to make floating corner shelves. Um, but again, I couldn't find anything at that time. So I gave it some thought and uh, I came up with these. Now the criteria was that they needed to be very simple uh, and only use everyday tools that people have. At the time, I did have a, a handheld circular saw. I had a, um, a jigsaw, um, but to be honest, if all you've got is a handsaw and, and a drill of some sort, then you can make these shelves. All you need to make these shelves is a handsaw. You do need a drill to drill the holes in the bracket um, for fastening to the wall, and obviously a drill to drill into the wall. They're basically made of uh, three pieces of 12 millimeter MDF, three triangles of MDF, which are then laminated or stuck together. So you'll need some wood glue. The center piece, this piece that makes the center of the sandwich, um, before we glue them together, we will be cutting out two strips, which eventually will fasten to the wall for the supports. Um, so if you'd like to have a go at making these shelves, there is a link in the description to some basic plans that I've uh, drawn up, they're free. Um, but for now, let's, um, let's go down to the workshop and start building. I've started by cutting six um, squares of 12 millimeter MDF, uh, one foot square, and we're going to sandwich three of them together to give us the final thickness of the shelf. But before we do that, we're going to cut them diagonally to give us a triangle which is going to make the corner shelf. Now I've cut mine on the table saw, and I'm going to use my sled to cut them diagonally. But if you don't have a table saw, you can use a jigsaw, circular saw, even a hand saw. The beauty of making them the way I'm going to show you is that you can make these without any special equipment. Just an ordinary hand saw will do it. So I'm going to get set up now and cut these diagonally. Now, as you can see, if we put three of these together, it will give us a corner shelf. Um, the next step, though, before we do this, is to cut out a piece at either side of the middle section. Um, and these pieces that we cut out will become the, um, the support brackets which we screw to the wall. Now your best bet, especially if you cut these by hand, um, they may be a little bit different each one. So is go through the pieces you've cut and find the ones that are the best match. So the flush across the front of the shelf and is evenly matched down the side. And then what I've done, I've put like a V shape on both sides so I know they go together like that. With the second shelf, I've put, I don't know whether you can see, but I've put two V's and then three with a third. So I know which pieces go with which. Then once you've done that, you need to take the, the middle section. And if you can see this, I've marked the bits that I'm going to cut out to make the shelf brackets. Now these, from the long side, which is the front of the shelf, I've come back 50 millimetres. 
from both ends and then from the outside edge in I've come in 20 millimeters. This little square in the corner will be discarding but these two pieces once they're cut off will actually screw to the walls and then the shelf will slide onto them and you'll see how because this will make a rebate when they're stuck together. So I'm going to set up now and cut these out. Right, now then I'm going to use my bandsaw but uh, if you don't have a bandsaw again this can be done with um, an ordinary handsaw. Now this, this is where your marks come in, if you mark them as I said um, you will see that uh, you can tell where the pieces go. Here is the piece that's going to have holes drilled in, countersunk drilled to the wall. This will go on the other side of the wall. And now when we, when we glue those together we have a place for the bracket to slip into. Now the only thing we need to do with the brackets is shave off a little bit um, on the top or bottom because otherwise it's going to be a really tight fit into there. Um, <clears throat> so you can do that either with a, a plane or sandpaper. I'm, I'm just going to use a belt sander um, and then I'm going to drill a couple of holes, probably two holes, that will screw to the wall. So I'm going to get these glued up now, um, and then, um, then I'll deal with the brackets. Right, I've already glued two up. Two up. This is the final one. Um, I've rubbed each side with some uh, 40 grit sandpaper. Uh, just to give it a key for the glue and uh, hopefully now glue this third one up
both sides matching. Make sure the front pieces are all level. And then put a weight on. And I find it's better to put a weight because the clamps I've got tend to slide the pieces. So I find it better to put a weight on them. Right, that's all glued up. Just got to wait for that to dry. And then we'll, we'll continue. Now I've decided to wait until these have glued up and they actually do go in alright but a little bit tight and also just need a little bit off this the, uh, the inside as well so I'll get to that sanded down now Unfortunately, I think my uh, battery died there. Um, to show you what I've done, I've sanded a bit off one edge, one side, or the top as it is, if the shelf's going in on the wall like that, and a little bit off the inside so that this bracket isn't proud. So when it screws to the wall, um, the shelf will actually slide onto it nicely. Done the same on the other side and the same with the other two. So the next thing now is to um, drill and countersink a couple of holes where the bracket can be fastened to the wall. Right now here we have the, uh, the brackets. Um, as you can see, I think you can see on camera, I've drilled two holes in each of these and countersunk them. Uh, these are five millimeter holes so they're going to take four millimeter screws probably 30 millimeters long to secure these to the wall so the brackets now are now finished ready to to be hung um, I've also painted the, the shelves um, before I painted the shelves though I've decided which is going to be the top of the shelf and then I've drilled um, one hole down each side, roughly halfway where, um, where the length is going to be for the bracket. Um, those are three millimeter holes, sorry, a four millimeter hole countersunk to take a three millimeter screw, which will be 20 millimeters in length and it will allow the screw to be. Um, the, the shelf to be screwed to the bracket um, help it st uh, stop falling off I've also um, chamfered the top and bottom of mine um, but if you haven't got anything to do that with then you don't have to do it you could just um, rub it with sandpaper before I painted them though I made three of these which are uh, just little stands to help paint them you may have noticed when I cut the wood I actually had enough to make an extra shelf, I had three extra triangles. So with these I've cut a V-shape out, screwed that piece that I've cut out on the bottom and then you can then use it to actually hold the shelf. And now you can paint away till your heart's content. You don't need you can turn it round you don't have to get your fingers on the paint and then it holds them for drying as well so I would recommend you do that so these are now ready to be fit to the walls um, and that's what we'll do next right well here, here we are um, I've already fitted two of the shelves and I've put the last two brackets on the wall um, depending what your walls are obviously there's different ways of fastening it these are breeze block, so I've needed a, a drill to drill into a breeze block, plug them and screw them into the wall. If, you're, um, if you've got a drywall or plasterboard wall, then you'll have to use fasteners for that. 
So here's the last shelf ready to go on. Um, so I'll do that now. Just slips into place. And then final thing, they're just two three by twenty millimeter screws. I've already drilled pilot holes in the shelf bracket so they just go in there and the last one and there we are set of three corner shelves last ornament on there and all done so I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're in the market for some floating corner shelves, I hope you give this idea a try. Um, there is a link in the description to a, a plan that I've made. Uh, so if you use the plan along with this video, if you've got basic DIY skills and a handsaw as a minimum, I'm sure you could do these, uh, these shelves yourself. So please have a go. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, I may be doing some more in the future. Um, but for now, thanks very much for watching.